Hello, I'm a 30-year-old Canadian traveler, and I look 16. Oh, and this, right here, this disgusting mess, is probably why you should wear sunscreen. It keeps getting... I haven't even been in the sun, but it keeps like... The skin's so sensitive that it just breaks. But that's not the point of this video. Ugh. Street food. Why you should eat it, why you shouldn't. Sanitation is a big one. People do not wear gloves. They touch the money. The money is dirtier than like a toilet seat. Some people will not give you a takeout container. Instead, they use the same glass and dunk it in some cold water with a little bit of soap. If you're lucky, me just sits out for hours and hours. Not refrigerated, just hanging and slowing, decaying. Some produce is washed in the same water as sewage. I once met a guy in a hostel that was sick for weeks after volunteering at a farm that does this. At first, he tried to avoid the food and live on nuts that they had and stuff like that. But that only lasted a few days. One time when I was traveling through South America, I witnessed a lady, I used the word lightly, step away from her food cart, walk near a wall, squat, and take a nice, warm, steamy piss. If this is what the lady will do when people are watching, what do they do when people aren't looking? Even nastier, one day in Puno, it was very hot, a heat wave sort of thing. Everybody was sweating. Fruits were sweaty, it was muggy, lots of moisture. I decided to walk to the market. I didn't. The market has... I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't. The market has no ventilation whatsoever. It was just as hot as in there as it was outside. Walking around the market was enjoyable. Lots of trinkets. This was until I made it to the meat market. Oh my god, the smell was horrifying. Morbid. There was hot gas cow heads laying around, decaying, hot steamy internal organs hanging around, dripping blood. The floor was soaking with blood and dirt. It was gross. There was no best before dates. Nobody was checking temperatures. Nothing. The scary thing is, even if you try avoiding this market, most of the restaurant food comes from the market. Nothing was really separated in that market. Chicken juice was running with cow blood, no ice, and again, the smell. I would feel more confident eating out of a garbage bag behind a supermarket than I would at the market. At least the meat in the garbage is wrapped and slightly cold and being taken out of the store. The meat is usually only a day expired. I am surprised the town did not die from like indigestion or food poisoning bacteria agents. I am not sure what is more nasty, processed fatty chemicals in North American foods or this place. Why you should eat? Why you should eat street food? As I said before, you help out the local farmers and not just the outside corporations that might be exploiting the workers market. It's cheap. If you want to know what the locals really eat and not what the country wants to portray as their image, then eat from a food court. Bad case of food poisoning. My worst case of food poisoning to date was at the Hostel International in Edmonton. It was not the hostel that gave me the food poisoning. It was some crappy pizza place down the street that gave it to me. I was sitting in my bed, relaxing, and it hits me like a ton of bricks. I start rushing to the washroom every 10 minutes. Once night fell, out of respect for my other roommates, I decided I would go downstairs and sleep in the TV room. Turns out someone else was already sleeping there, probably to avoid the noisy of 10 people in the hostel room. I slept in a lot of strange places that night, the pool room, the shower, in the washroom. In the washroom, I woke up to someone taking a dump. It was the worst experience. The most embarrassing part was when I lost my key, I went upstairs with my jacket and my mouth was covered in Pepto-Bismol. It was grosser than this thing. The guy did not say a thing. My food poisoning lasted six days. My conclusion, it's up to you if you want to risk getting hep, norac, diarrhea, food poisoning to save a buck, then that is your choice. It can, can't all be bad or the locals would have all already vanished.